Uh, thank you very much. It's uh, uh, great to be back with you uh, to see my dear friend, fellow colleague uh, Kelly Ayotte, uh, to thank uh, Senator Bozeman for hosting this meeting in this great room, and just to say thank you uh, for the organization of Iranian American communities for once again uh, bringing us all together at a really uh, critical time in the fight for freedom in Iran. So um, Kelly and I were blessed, really, to be senators. Uh, and what, but uh, in my case, 24 years. Um, but one thing you know is when you're a former senator, you yield to current senators. So I'm going to proceed, but I'm going to look for any sign from uh, my friends that another sitting senator, busier than I at the moment, is coming in. And I'll be glad to uh, yield and maybe even come back if there's time. Um, let me start this way. When the history of the world in this year, 2022, is written, I believe that two dates will stand out as turning points uh, in international relations. The first is February 24th of 2022, which was the day that Russia uh, invaded Ukraine. The second is September 16th of 2022, the day that a new wave of anti-regime protests led by women began in Iran after the death of Masa Amini. And those protests continue today, the 84th day, seven weeks later. My friends, during the last decade, we have come often to this historic room uh, and to many others on Capitol Hill to protest uh, the government of Iran to stand with the um, people of Iran. But this meeting today is different because those protests that began on September 16th uh, continue not only undiminished, but broader and deeper and more steadfast than ever before. What's happening now in Iran is inspiring, but it's also unprecedented uh, since the, um, the Islamic regime took over uh, more than four decades ago. This has become a genuine uprising, and I think it's time to start calling it what it is, a revolution to liberate the people of Iran from the totalitarian government that has enslaved them for too many years.